$1.99 cents, manual offers full manual controls for the iPhone's camera. Now, you'll be able to control settings like shutter speed, ISO, focus, and white balance, but there are other cool features as well that you won't really find on the iPhone stock camera app, like an exit viewer, a fill flash mode in case you don't want to use the flash, and you'll also see a live monitor for automatic exposure values, which in this case, if you've ever used a DSLR before, that'll help you figure out whether your shot is properly exposed or not. Now, if you want something more complex in a camera app that'll let you take greater advantage of the iPhone's camera, manual is a great choice. Now, the second one on our list is Afterlight. It's 99 cents from the App Store, and what's awesome about Afterlight are the plethora of editing effects and filters that you can add onto your pictures. And you'll also be able to add borders and frames to make your photos look even more unique. You can mix and match filters and make your own presets, which I think makes Afterlight stand out from the rest of the editing apps found on iOS. Now, there are in-app purchases to get your new filters and overlays and frames, and I think they're worth it, especially if you're a big Instagrammer. You have your basic editing tools to crop, rotate, or add vignettes to your photos. There's also a built-in camera app, which is pretty similar to manual. You'll get manual controls for your ISO, your focus, and shutter speed, but the UI isn't as detailed nor as good looking as manual. I personally use Afterlight so I can make my images look better for Instagram. Like I would use their borders and I could square crop it so my 16 by nine pictures would fit in Instagram better. Moving on to number three, we have ViscoCam. Now what's awesome about ViscoCam, unlike Afterlight, is the ability to link my Visco account on their server. So any in-app purchases I made on my Android device or my iOS device will be linked under one account. I don't have to buy the same filter twice, which is pretty neat. It saves me the headache and the time and the money. But now as an app in general, it offers a variety of filters and you can actually buy a few more within the Visco store. I bought mostly every filter pack the app has for sale and I absolutely think they're worth it. Some filters are subtle and some change the overall look, but I found that the Visco filters are better than most apps I've used on iOS. Now, I use Visco Cam and Afterlight together whenever I post something on Instagram. I use Visco to color my photos and I actually use Afterlight, like I just said earlier, to add square borders and add a bit of a texture overlay to my photos. ViscoCam is free from the App Store. Give it a try and let me know what you guys think. And number four is Hyperlapse. Now with the addition of time-lapse in iOS 8, a lot of my friends and family started using the time-lapse feature on their stock camera app and they actually started posting their videos online. Now what's awesome about Hyperlapse is you'll have control on how fast or normal your time-lapse will look and it'll automatically stabilize your shot for you so it isn't jittery. Now, over Thanksgiving, I actually gave Hyperlapse a try and found it to be super stable. I was going around downtown San Francisco and I was holding the phone for about 20 minutes, which was quite a while, and, but it was totally worth it. Though there were moments where my hands were shaking and the roads were bumpy, but when I exported the video, it was really stable. I was using the 6 Plus, so I'm sure OIS had a part in that too, but seeing that the video was really stable won me over. Hyperlapse is free from the App Store. Give it a try and start shooting epic time lapse. Let me stop this video for just a quick second and thank our friends over at Domain.com. Domain.com is the place to go when the next great idea hits you. It's a one-stop shopping for all your domain names and web hosting needs. It's not just about .com, .net, and .org anymore. You now have the opportunity to name your site and build your brand in ways never before possible. Choose from a growing list of 200 plus domain name extensions like .ninja, .expert, and .club. And actually, the guys at Domain.com want to hook our fans up with a great offer. Save 15% on domain names with web hosting and use your coupon code TECHNOBUFFALO at Domain.com's checkout. Now, last but not least, let's talk about Chromic. Chromic is yet another free app from the App Store with in-app purchases, but just to give you guys a brief summary of what the app is, it's like Visco for videos. Now, I say that because of the filters you can add to your videos. It gives my videos very film-like effects that you wouldn't be able to achieve unless the footage is color graded on a computer. Now, I bought all of the filters that were available for $4.99 when I first downloaded the app, and Chromic actually recently added new features like the ability to change contrast, saturation, highlights, and exposure, which adds more fine-tuning than ever before. The overall UI is super simplistic, the fine-tuning for each category is all swipe-based, so it's really easy to navigate through the filters and settings. So if you're looking for a great video app companion to color grade your footage on your iPhone, Chromic is the way to go. It's free, so give it a try and let us know what you think of the app. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Make sure to check out our top five photo and video apps for Android, which we will link down below. And as always, I'm Mark Linsanger from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you guys would like to see more tech related videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you guys like video games, we're also on Twitch, so make sure to check us out at twitch.tv slash technobuffalo.